Well, I am continuing my painting of this pomegranate on a gray background. And I wanted to just uh, showcase some of the oil paint brush, glazing brushes I've been using lately. And um, let's zoom in on some of the details I want to work on so that you can see how marvelous they are. Okay, over here I've got my pulp selected. That's this yellow. I want to add some of this green fringing to it. So, if I brush selected, Get back to 20% opacity. See, I'm working on this layer. Hopefully this isn't uh, too boring for you all, <laughs> watching paint dry or being applied. Um, could uh, easily be tedious. But I'll tell you what, this is pretty fun using these kinds of brushes rather than some of the modern brushes that just are so characterless. You know, if you just like to, to model things and paint, the joy of painting, if you will, <laughs> quote Mr. Ross. Certainly there, you can sharpen that brush up a little bit. You can enlarge in the whole thing. Now it's at 28 pixels. I'm going to break out my palette knife and show you how that can um, start to blend or smooth out some of these textures right here. Making sure my texture is has high enough contrast. I'm going to pick a different texture here. Of course, or one that kind of matches this background gray. Ah, <laughs> uh, no. Let's bring that baby down. Lower the intensity of that. Just 
just like modeling real, real paint. You can see some of that texture cutting through. the paint. It's like you're scraping through the layers of the paint itself. Now obviously there are more expedient ways to to paint but <clears throat> these are the kind of things that are just inspiring as an, as an artist. You just kind of go, oh, I love to play. It's like doodling. It, it starts to reveal the, the, the joy of, of, a, of painting on a surface and, and seeing what happens compared to, you know, just staring at a white boring computer screen that is not giving you the the artistic feedback of of this kind of expression and this this new computer the surface studio has given me a new appreciation for this because the detachment of of working with a stylus has its own kind of sanitizing effect on the creative process. Don't get me wrong, a tablet is a, is a fabulous tool and, and quite a necessary one most of the time. But something like this just gives you that, that satisfying feel of, of I'm achieving something beautiful. Like these little ridges that the paint has revealed mirror the paint stroke that I put down earlier. See that? Because it's all part of this wet paint layer. Bring the scale of that down a little bit. Well, this is just gouging into the paint surface, right? How fun is this? I mean, this is this like, this is not a digital illustration anymore. It starts to become, you know, what you've always wanted to do, paint pictures, except you don't have to smell turpentine. You don't have to smell linseed oil. However nice that is, at times, it can be a little overwhelming. Or what if what if your plane can't handle it anymore? Well, this is an awesome, an awesome alternative, if you ask me. Anyway, just thought I'd share some of that with you today.